There are a few rules you need to be aware of when pursuing the SQE assessments. You must take the two parts of SQE1 in a single assessment window. If you pass one exam but fail the other, you'll only need to retake the exam you've failed. You must first pass the two parts of SQE1 before you can attempt SQE2 assessments. You must take all SQE2 assessments in a single assessment window. There is a single pass mark for all SQE2 assessments. Candidates have a maximum of three attempts to pass each of the parts of SQE1 or SQE2 assessments. You must pass all SQE1 and SQE assessments within six years from attempting the first SQE1 assessment. If you do not pass all the assessments within six years, you must sit both SQE1 and SQE2 assessments again.